good morning children we'll continue learning about electric current yes children hope you have understood about the closed and open circuit which was taught in the previous class and by now you all know the components to make a simple circuit today we will continue our learning further children so before starting we'll do one simple activity yes so for this activity we are going to we are going to make a simple electric circuit so for that you need a cell and connect the cell to your switch and then to your bulb so this is your circuit now check whether everything is connected properly now you all know that circuit is open yes after you give connections using the connecting wires the cell bulb everything you close the circuit you know that how to close the circuit you keep the switch in on position so now you know that this is a closed circuit how will you know that because as it is closed the current will start flowing as the current starts flowing you know that the bulb will start glowing the bulb will start glowing so leave it for some time observe the glowing bulb for some time after a few minutes you again you bring the switch to off position bring the switch to off position as soon as you the switch is off you know that the bulb will not glow yes now you just go and touch the bulb and see how it is feeling whether it is feeling cold or warm you will notice that the bulb is warm or getting warm so now what has happened when we were when we connected all this and when we made electric circuit when the current was flowing and when we put it off and when you are touching the bulb we see that the bulb has become warmer so why it has happened that is what we are going to learn now i hope you have guessed what is what we are going to learn today see children whenever current is made to flow through a circuit through a conducting so here it is flowing through a conducting wires only no so when it is made to flow through conducting materials sometimes or most of the times we can see that there are some effects will be there so the effects what do you mean by effect for example the heat chapter we learned that when heat is given to your body the temperature rises so heat is the cause and the temperature is the effect same way here the electrical energy is give, is made to flow there are some effects will be observed one or two or three different types of effects are observed so one such is the heating effect here you see as the a uh, current was made to flow here tungsten filament only no children inside the bulb tungsten filament is only becoming hot and it is glowing so because of that after you put off the uh, as it is uh, when the current is made to flow along with the electrical energy light energy was produced yes when current electrical energy was given to the bulb it changed into converted gets converted into light energy along with that even some amount of heat is also produced see the electrical energy electrical energy is getting converted into light energy yes no children and along with that even some amount of heat energy is also produced here heat is also produced here so this is the one of the effect of electrical energy so there are three different types of effects we can notice whenever current is made to flow once depending upon the material one will be the heating effect sometimes we can notice the chemical effect sometimes we can not even we can notice the magnetic effect there are three main effects of electrical electric current what are they heating magnetic effect heating effect and also the chemical effect so the three effects of electric current so when current is made to flow through the conducting materials along with the when it is made to flow we can see feel heating effect sometimes we can see the magnetic effect and also chemical effect so in this three effects 
we are going to learn about the heating effect that is what just with one activity now we were able to notice that the bulb is getting warmer now another example another activity will do to learn further about the heating effect children so for this now we will take again we are going to take a cell or a battery also can be taken then next then you will connect to your switch then we have to connect it to a, a wire made up of nichrome so nichrome is an alloy children so we will take a piece of nichrome wire so that nichrome wire will be connected to the uh, two nails iron nails you will connect first <coughs> and this here the nichrome wire is connected so to keep this we can keep on strand so this is the iron nail and here we have the nichrome wire nichrome wire here this is the cell this is the circuit is open this is just a stand where uh, yeah. a cardboard or something to keep the both the iron nails these are the iron nails so to the iron nails to the two, two iron nails we connect the nichrome wire and now one uh, one end of the circuit is connected to the one of the iron nail another one to the another another end of the circuit is to the another nail and here both the nails are connected with a nichrome wire now after connecting this so what we have taken a cell switch instead of bulb here we have taken the nichrome wire and we have connected the nichrome wire now you will make, put the put on the switch the switch is on now it's a closed circuit so when the circuit is closed this current starts flowing yes and when the current starts flowing you leave it for a few minutes and then same way you put it off then when you touch and see you will see that the nichrome wire has become hot so this is also an activity to prove that whenever electric current is made to flow through conducting materials along with the electrical energy some amount of heat energy is also we can the heat energy is also been produced so this is one of the effect of electrical electric current so here nichrome nichrome is an Nichrome is an alloy children made up of nickel and chromium. So that nichrome wire will be very thin. You can get in the um, hardware shops and all. So that thin wire you can connect it. And you can feel why we have chosen the nichrome wire. Here the nichrome wire will have. You can feel the hotness very easily. So that you can understand the heating effect of the electric current. So it become hot. So that you will feel that. Uh, you can, when you touch only you can feel that. A hotness but if you take a copper wire which we are using for our electrical uh, appliances and all no for connecting so that you cannot feel that much hotness why that i that also i'll explain so here nichrome wire why particular nichrome wire so that you by touching only you can feel how it is becoming hot so this is one of the effect of electric current that is the heating effect so one activity with the electric bulb we did and the second activity with the nichrome wire we have done to understand the heating effect of electric current we will further continue so when electric current is made to flow through the conductors we can notice the <coughs> heating effect also so how much heat will be produced that will depends upon the material what we are using how long you are going to uh, supply the current or amount of current is going to be given to the material these all will decide how much amount of heat is produced so once we know that heat will be produced when electric current is made to pass through the uh, conductors this can be utilized for some purposes yes so heating effect learning about the heating effect of heating effect of electric current so when electric current is made to pass through conductors depending upon the conducting material and amount of heat uh, amount of electric energy we are supplying the material will start getting heated up so this can be utilized no this can be this is a one this can be utilized for uh, some of our purpose yes so that is why many appliances in our home will use this this principle for example room heater so room heater somehow we are not using here in the cold places room heaters work on 
this principle only electricity is given and their electrical energy is getting converted into heat energy and also you are a water heater student at home you'll be having water heater either it is a coil heater or a gas uh, also they they will be there uh, whenever electricity is given to the appliance the heating effect is uh, heating effect heating is uh, happening and we are uh, getting the hot water and also in the iron iron we, which we will use for uh, pressing clothes iron for pressing clothes even in this also we are we are we are, <coughs> we are making use of the heating effect of the electric current like that we can add up even the <coughs> electric cooker, electric oven. So in many all these uh, appliances, all these are the appliances in which electric current is getting converted into heat energy and we are using it for cooking or heating water like that. So this effect is a very useful effect for the mankind. So this effect we are utilizing for uh, many purposes like cooking food and uh, heating things and pressing clothes and all. You can add up some more appliances also here which in which the uh, electrical energy is getting converted into heat energy. So basically what will be there in this appliances? What happens there? So what they will do? There will be a element. There will be an element in which the when current is passed that will get heated up and that heat is utilized for uh, heating water or cooking the food whatever depending upon the appliance. So that element, element will be, these appliances will have one common thing called element. That element will get heated up and that will make the heated up and that will make the uh, work to be done. Whatever the necessary work we need, the appliance is made for that will be done there will be an element. An element will, some of the elements will, they will absorb the, they will get the, take the energy, heat, electrical energy and they will glow also. Even the hot plates and all, whenever they are traveling people, they will carry that hot plates for cooking. There you will have a coin. So generally this element, what will be there, that it will be having a conducting material, conductor and that will be in the form of a single piece of wire, a small piece of wire or a coil of wire. So there will be conducting wire only. The conducting wire only will be in the form of coil. So coil means uh, long, it will be in a uh, placed in a such a way that so that the uh, energy can be perfectly get it, it will get transferred into heat energy. Electrical energy will be getting transferred into heat energy and our purpose will be solved. So here an element will be there that is nothing but a conducting wire in the form of a coil. But now why this is happening? What type of material we need to choose for this? So that, that is also a very important question which will arise in your mind. Just now I said only in chrome wire you will feel the hotness. Don't take the copper wire, I said. When you want to make a circuit, you take copper wire, I said no. But when you wanted to uh, learn about the heating effect, I said you take one nichrome piece of wire. So why these all? So what uh, decides whether the material is going to uh, get heated more and it is going to be useful to us or it is going to be advantage or disadvantage for that we will concentrate now. So now heating effect of electric current is utilized in many appliances in our home. Some names are given even you can uh, find out some names in that there will be a uh, element and that element will get heated up and due to the electrical energy given and it will so, uh, make the, that will be utilized for the purpose of cooking or making the room heat or like that. So now by selecting the what type of materials will uh, get heated more and uh, why they are selected and what type of material should be chosen. See whenever uh, this see children you are standing somebody is com coming uh, near you and uh, the, the person is trying to push you. So when they are trying to push you definitely you will with your whatever energy you are having, you will try to resist. Resist means you will try to stop it. Yes, you will try to stop. What does it mean by resist? Resisting means to some amount you will you will block or you will try to try to avoid that changes. Whether you are going to move a little or whatever the change is going to happen in your body, you will resist a little. Resist means you will try to block it. Yes. So same thing happens in the conductors also. So just now we said no conductors when you are electrical 
energy is given electric current is made to flow through it electric current is made to flow through it so when it is made to flow so when first thing is they all are made up of atoms by now you all know that i have shown you a video i explained in previous class so what they will do they will resist to some extent so but did this resistance will differ, differ from one material to another material some of the materials are highly conductive for example if this is a copper wire copper only we are using for our uh, all the connections in our home is done by copper wire children so this copper wire why particularly copper is being selected because they are they have highly they are highly conductive high conductivity high conductivity means what easily the current can flow and resistance will be very less so low resistance low resistance that's why copper is being selected but some conductors are there for example nichrome no just now we uh, this is an alloy it is not a metal this is an alloy means mixture of two uh, two metals nichrome and sorry uh, nickel and chromium nickel and chromium that is the nichrome so here what happens this whenever same way when electric current is made to flow through this here the conductivity is low conductivity low conductivity so that it will have some high resistance so it will resist the flow resisting means you try to block it resist so because of that the wire will get heated up more when resistance is more the heat energy produced is more so that is why we select a particular material for the purpose what we want to eat. now i want to give a connection the circuit i take only copper wire i cannot go for the nichrome wire because it will become hot and after becoming more hot we are going to see that only next it will melt also so the why we are choosing the particular materials these materials should have uh, it depends upon their conductivity and also their resistance when they have low resistance the conductivity will be easy so they won't get heated up easily but when they have high resistance resisting when we how you know no when friction is there more it is produced same way here when high resistance is there they will getting they will be getting heated up more so such type of materials are only used conductors only they are also but they will have high resistance they are only used as element in the uh, heating appliances no just now we discussed no uh, the hot plate or your uh, hot plate or uh, the water heater heating coil and all they will have high resistance so that only they will be able to uh, produce more amount of heat when electrical energy is supplied to them so that our purpose of heating the water or cooking will be done yes children so this is about the uh, material and uh, not only this the length of the wire i told no coil only in that element element in the appliances is nothing but a coil of wire coil means many wires bound together bound together so this also depends upon the what material you are using just now i said materials with high resistance low resistance and also it depends upon the length and thickness so these three will serve the purpose for what we are using which uh, what amount of heat is needed for the work what we are to do accordingly they will select when they are uh, making the appliances accordingly they will select the coil will be made up of they will select the coil and uh, depending upon the material how much heat is produced that depends upon the uh, nature of the nature or material what material high conductivity or low conductivity like that and also uh, the thickness how much thick the wire thickness the wire is having and also it depends upon the length of the <coughs> wire so we are talking about the element the element means here is not the element which you are going to learn in chemistry this is the element in the physics that this element will be found found in the heating appliances where the electrical appliances in which they are working under the heating effect of electric current electrical appliances electrical appliances these are the electrical appliances where there will be a here only I'll write so that you can see electrical appliances example is hot plate there will be an element that element there will be a coil of wire and amount of heat produced will be depending upon the thickness of wire 
thickness of wire, length of the wire and also depends upon the material, the nature of the material, what material you are going to use. So the material just now I said some will have high resistance, some will have rose resistance. Accordingly, it will be used and this is the work is done. See the heating effect is very advantageous. So that's why we are uh, using it in uh, many appliances and we are getting the work done. Uh, we will do one activity to uh, learn further about this heating effect. Sometimes depending upon the material, what happens when heat is produced, just we will see. So this time also, we are going to take one cell children. And the cell is connected. <coughs> the cell is connected to your switch. And then instead of uh, bulb or uh, uh, the nichrome wire, this time we are going to take a piece of wire that is made up of steel wool. So steel wool means it is not uh, nothing uh, uh, very difficult. It is just a scrub uh, for cleaning the vessels in our home we will use. No, it is made up of steel. Like a wool only it will be very soft steel. It is stainless steel. The steel is also an alloy only. So that small uh, thin wire you can take and you can connect in the circuit. This is the steel wool. Steel wool. And you will after this connection. This is a piece of steel wool. <coughs> It is shown in the virtual image also. So you will switch on. So once you switch on, you know that the current will, electric current will start flowing. So once this current starts flowing, you will see that after some time, some few minutes, so this steel wool will start melting. It will start melting and the circuit will be become open circuit. Because here it will, when it starts melting, it will cut off. No, it will start melting and the uh, current will not flow and because the uh, steel wool started melting. So what is this? Why it happened? Even the steel will become warmer and then only it will become, it will melt. So just now I said no. When the, <clears throat> depending upon the conductive material, some of you, some of them have high resistance, some have low resistance and also they, some of them will have low melting point and some will have high melting point. Melting means they were, the point where they will start melting. So here see the steel wool why it started melting because it was having a very low melting point. It was having a very low melting point. That is why once it started heating, it start it, uh, it was uh, when it start, started getting heating due to the heating effect of electric current, it starts after some time it starts when it reaches its melting point, it starts melting and the circuit is broken or it is open. So same thing, this is one, just an example. Same thing can happen in our home also. You might have realized that uh, suddenly sometimes there will be a power failure. They will come and do something and they will say that uh, uh, you know, something has happened. And you might have heard that short circuit has happened, short circuit has happened. Have you ever heard this word children, short circuit at home? So what is this short circuit? Whenever short circuit means you will not be getting the supply, right? There will be uh, your... Uh, Power will, you are will not getting the power. That's why you will call an electrician to fix it. So why this happens at home also? Sometimes what happens? Excessive current will come. Excessive current will be received. Example, uh, for example, uh, uh, to our home domestic supply, we will be getting from some 240 volts. We will be getting 220 to 240. It will be yes. So due to some reason, <coughs> if excessive current is flowing, uh, and uh, if suppose excessive current flows and many uh, appliances are connected to you might have seen on your home every two two rooms are separate rooms will be connected uh, one one circuit and there will be some controlling device also for that uh, at least uh, today you can go and you can ask your parents to show uh, the where is the main switch if you are an apartment where is don't go and touch anything there yes and just you can go and observe okay, if I, uh, danger it will be written there you all know that uh, where how it is getting and you can see how they are putting up and on and in your home also you will have some place where it is all been controlled and uh, whenever power is gone uh, they will go and check that uh, there anything any switches come down or they will put it up these all uh, you have better observed so what actually happens short circuit the word itself means that the short means that circuit will not be there for longer time Suddenly the circuit circuit that is a very short circuit, short ending circuit. That's why we will say short circuit. It will be put off. Why it will put off? Because of excessive current. Excessive current can be happening when two wires. See, this is all you will be learning to our home. Generally, 
three uh, different types of wires will come live wire neutral wire and all suppose when two wires are touching each other insulation is not there see see like this wires or you know we are getting the uh, supply no these are the copper wires so sometimes inside you the uh, insulation is there the insulation is uh, melted or due to some reason it is worn out and the two wires are touching two to three wires are touching each other so that the excessive current will be there and uh, Uh, many appliances are connected to in one room only your ac is on different things are on these all will lead to the uh, excessive current and this will uh, end up with short circuit the circuit will break so this this uh, sometimes if this short circuit is not is one way it is protecting the appliances if it is not happening our appliances that uh, heavy current will come to the each and every appliance and your, our appliances will be uh, frequently we have to replace the appliances it is is it possible children how costly and and also it will lead to fire accident when two wires are touching you may have seen no sparks coming out so that spark if nobody is there at home or uh, some other things are there which can man, uh, which can catch fire so it may lead to a fire accident also so you better heard about these all no in newspaper what are seen fire accidents due to the electrical leakage and due to the short circuits only this will happen so what is a short circuit that circuit is going to be a short circuit why because uh, due to some excessive current flow or uh, touching of wires or so many load load means <clears throat> and i have told you load is the different appliances what we are connecting devices we are electrical devices we are connecting to one circuit so too many are connected so that that may result in short circuit sparking may spark so we come and it may lead to fire accident also so this has to be avoided no just now we starting of the lesson we learned that electrical energy is a part of our everyday life so when we are using it we have to use it very safely so that when heating effect we know about the heating effect that see here this steel will <coughs> getting melted that can be utilized for some purpose uh, it was the thinking gone and there was a device invented that is called the fuse children so this is also a, a common term which you will see this is just to make you understand that melting can happen when heat energy uh, is uh, due to the nature of the material if it is having low melting point the conductive material can melt so this is a one of the advantage only how they are great advantage just now we will see so based on this heating effect many electrical appliances we are using one more safety device we are using in our home that is the fuse chiller that is the fuse so generally in the main supply means that it will be just a wire only see this wires only and the materials only makes wonders in this uh, electrical uh, appliances no depending upon the material length the amount of uh, electricity you are supplying we can uh, so we, we can utilize it for many purposes here the heating effect only how we are using it we are going to use as in the safety device that is that safety device is called as fuse different types of fuse are there in our life if you see we are using different types of fuse any new electrical appliance you have purchased in that box container you can see what type of safety uh, device is fuse is used in that these all you can check out of your own interest so what is there in the fuse this generally a fuse will be there nothing it will be having a thin wire this wire will have high resistance this wire a special type of wire used in fuse will have high resistance so as you know that high resistance means they resist so they become hot heatness more and they'll have very low melting point so when they are having low melting point so when the heat is given when they acquire the heat energy they will melt so melting means they will start melt like how the steel will be so so they will melt so this how is this going to help this fuse will be connected to the one room circuit is given so to that circuit there will be a fuse will be given so in that fuse what happens by mistake sometimes if the excessive current is flowing or due to some other reason two wires are touching so that the excessive current has come so once the excessive current has reached the fuse the fuse the material itself you know that it is having high resistance it gets heated up fast and low melting point it will melt and it will cut off the circuit so circuit will be cut off means the 
current will not go to the appliances and appliances will be saved from getting damaged. Yes, so fuses are of different types. Every appliance nowadays you have a small type that, that will be shown in the images. Now you can see small type of fuse is there, inbuilt, that is inbuilt fuse. And uh, due to some power uh, oh, high voltage and all, you might have seen your parents discussing and they will go to the person who will repair it, he will remove and he will keep the fuse. Even in your main junction box, there will be a, uh, as shown in the figure, there will be a vague, uh, like a plug type. It will be generally, it will be made up of ceramic, non-combustible. They will not get uh, burnt easily. And this thin wire, fuse wire will be there. So that will be like a plug. They will be once, first they will try to protect in the main, where main box only. So main box only, once current, uh, you are only your home, there is no, power supply immediately you will go and your parents will go and check what happened to and they will see that fuse has gone and the person will come to replace it and he he cannot in this fuse you are calling electrician he cannot put any wire he cannot use copper wire copper wire wire copper wire cannot be used here copper wire is not it is having high conductivity it will conduct very easily but it is not having high resistance it won't melt easily it has high melting point. So that copper cannot be used in any, any wire cannot be kept. Here you have, we have to choose a uh, wire which will serve our purpose. It should have high resistance and low melting point. Generally fuse wires will be uh, made up of, it is an alloy made up of tin and lead, sometimes zinc also. Tin, lead and tin, zinc are that alloy will help us as a safety device that is the fuse wire. So this is in the main and again coming to your uh, your own home you will be able to see there is one box there will be a uh, circuit breakers they are called as MCBs that is also one type of safety device only children MCB it is miniature circuit breaker MCB miniature circuit miniature circuit breaker why they have to break the circuit in order to protect the appliances only here also but this is uh, uh, in the fuse wire fuse wire pattern that main where we will plug dry type ceramic uh, ceramic uh, thing and like this it will be a ceramic you might have seen like this and here only that wire will be given this is the fuse fuse wire this is <coughs> but what happens once this is uh, the wire gets melt no the circuit is put off, current won't come to your home. Then it, this has to be replaced. They will come and they will they'll remove and thin wire again they will keep it and then only they will fit it. Then the current supply will be there. But this MCB it is advantageous. How are they are advantageous? They will, on their own they will come down. The switch will, <coughs> they will cut off. And again, <coughs> where is the problem? Everything is over. Some of the MCBs they will, on their own they will be able to uh, get set and start their working or else just you have to put it up and we can start the work. Where is the fault we can find out and we can, it can be just it can be done, no nothing to be replaced. Here wire should be replaced. No, that will be not there in the MCBs. So nowadays we use this miniature circuit breakers. Just you can ask your parents to show where is the MCB in your home and you might be having the U, US uh, this uh, UPS also no children. So in UPS also you can see a small fuse at the back. So every, not only uh, the your uh, uh, UPS, any appliances, everything, that, 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 uh, all the appliances have an inbuilt fuse to protect uh, from the uh, excessive flow of current uh, and uh, to uh, so that the, uh, the appliances should not get damaged. That is one reason and also to avoid the fire accident. There, that is That will be a very uh, dangerous situation, no, due to the electrical energy, if uh, suppose... Uh, fire accident occurs, it will be very irreplaceable. Irre irre yes, that is why these fuses will, the safety devices called fuse and MCBs will help us to protect the appliances and save us from the fire accidents. How do they work and what principle do they work? They work on the heating effect of electric current. So we are using utilizing the heating effect of electric current for many things, right? So just we started with one activity, you know, children with the bulb becoming warmer. Then I said nichrome wire. Why nichrome wire? It depends upon the material, how much resistance they have, how, what type of melting point they have. Accordingly, we will choose in every appliance and we will use a nichrome wire activity we did. That can be also done at home uh, with the one cell. Always safe. You can try that and you can enjoy that learning. Three activities I said. 
with the bulb nichrom wire and also with the steel wood this can be done at home out of your interest and you can uh, enjoy the touching how it is becoming warmer how it is getting melted and all so this heating effect is very we are utilizing the heating effect of electric current in many appliances yes and also it is uh, that principle is also used in the uh, one of the safety device at home that is the fuse this fuse they will uh, cut off the circuit and they will prevent the home from the fire accident and also it will they'll prevent the electrical appliances from getting damaged that's what today's learning and what type of bulbs we are using why they are replaced that is all given in your textbook as usual as i told you uh, then and there i'll give you some work so today's class we discussed about the heating effect of electric current and also we did i uh, we discussed about three different activities and we have we also learned about the different types of fuse so in your textbook in your textbook uh, just i want you to try three or four questions based on this after reading is over today only some of you are asking where i will do uh, what i will do please don't you do anywhere but fair copy you don't do no because fair copy you can check afterwards i'll give the answers you can check and you can write in your fair copy you can do in your any rough book or in any paper you can file and you can keep it yes children so today from textbook page number 163 we have uh, learned two to three pages up to 166 children just you can read so many interesting factors uh, the cfls also given that you can uh, just you can go through and come into the uh, questions what you need to answer today in page number please note down children in page number 171 Question number five. You have to answer question number five today, and then you will answer uh, question number eight. Question number eight is fill in the blanks. There are four fill in the blanks. Only the answer also you can write. Question is there in textbook? No. So only the answers. Five is over. Then you try the eight. Four fill in the blanks. Then you come to page number one seventy two. You have a Eleventh uh, question. Just I'll read the question, children. An electrician is carrying out some repair in your house. He wants to replace a fuse uh, by a piece of wire. Would you agree? Give reasons for your response. They are asking. So any wire cannot be used as a fuse wire. Your fuse wire should have high resistance and low melting point. Then only it will serve the purpose. Or else it will not uh, melt and circuit won't be broken when high current is coming and it will not. Uh, act as a safety device so just you think whatever i have said and try to answer that 5 8 and 11 you can complete uh, for today's class and uh, you can practice this activities so as i told out of your interest try the activities and if you have done the with the nichrome wire everything you are able to get and it is done please keep it ready next class virtual class you can show it to me and your friends also can show can see that and they also will Uh, try to do like you yes children learn and be ready for the next class thank you children